got absolutely everything here. Um, okay, not, not the most secret stuff, but it gives an absolutely compelling portrait. I think it will take months, if not years, to really analyze. It, it, it is, it, you know, the, the papers this morning, particularly The Guardian in London, I think have done a, done a very good job pulling together some of its conclusions. But, you know, it is, it is incredible to see the raw detail there, and I think it will pull together an, actual, an, an incredible picture of war. As we are broadcasting this uh, show today, uh, the news conference is going on in London um, that Julian Assange is holding, revealing all of this. I wanted to turn to Daniel Ellsberg in Mexico. Your hearing of this release, your response. I'm very impressed by the release. It is the first release in 39 years or 40 years since I first gave the Pentagon Papers to the Senate of the scale of the Pentagon Papers, and uh, not the first that it should have been. I would, how many times in those years should there have been the release of thousands of pages showing of uh, being lied in full war in Iraq, as in Vietnam, and uh, the nature of the war in Afghanistan. I hope there will be, I hope this will inspire, despite the charges brought against uh, Manning, uh, under the UC, under the Universal Code of Military Justice, which is not civilian law, it's not First Amendment uh, law, it's the military law, so he's in uh, deep water here, as I think he expected. But I, and nevertheless, I hope people will not be deterred from realizing that they have the responsibility that, according to the reports we've had, uh, of what Manning said in chat logs to the informant, Adrian Lamo, that uh, will realize that there is great deception going on, that uh, there is, in Manning's reported words, uh, horrific material, almost criminal, as he put it, which deserve to be in the public domain, uh, that they will consider doing what's been done here, and that is risking their own career and their clearance and even their liberty, maybe for life, in order to save many lives. So uh, whoever did this, and... Uh, Manning is charged with it. It remains to be seen whether uh, the government can prove a case against him in the particular charges. But in terms of uh, what he's reported to have said to Lamo, I admire very much the spirit in which he did this. He said that he felt the public needed to know this and that he was prepared to go to prison uh, even for life, he said that, or even to be executed. Uh, that's the first person I've heard in 40 years who is in the same state of mind that I was 40 years ago. Uh, Stephen Gray, just to clarify, um, Dan Ellsberg is talking about Private First Class Bradley Manning, who was in Iraq, had uh, says he released these documents. Uh, he has now uh, been arrested uh, by the military. What did Julian Assange say about Bradley Manning? And, uh, he, and this came out in his conversations with Lano, another blogger online. Yeah. I mean, like Daniel Ellsberg, he has, uh, you know, praised what Bradley Manning has, has said about what he's, what he's doing, but he's not confirmed that he's the source. I mean, it's one of the, the beauties, if you like, of this uh, technology that uh, Julian Assange and his uh, colleagues at WikiLeaks have developed, is that it actually protects the source. So what uh, Julian Assange told me was that he himself does not know who the source is. What they do is verify documents, not sources themselves. So they're not, they're not able to actually verify that that was him. But what, I mean, what was striking to me was that uh, Bradley Manning said in his so-called confessions to this informer that he had released 265,000 uh, documents to WikiLeaks. Now, they've published 95,000. They say they've held back 15,000. Add that up, I think there's 110,000. So less than half of what uh, he's handed over has actually been published yet. So there's, you know, if, if, if he indeed is the leak, and I, I suppose you can, it, it looks pretty likely, um, then there's a lot more to come. Uh, uh, he's been uh, charged with um, passing on 50 State Department cables. Uh, we're talking about the largest document release in U.S. history outside of Dan Ellsberg, the, uh, actually including Dan Ellsberg, in the course of a war. Uh, 92,000 pages are being released by WikiLeaks, the website. Julian Assange holding a news conference now in London. Daniel Ellsberg is on the phone with us from Mexico. Stephen Gray, who spent much of the weekend with Julian Assange, is on with us from London. Uh, we'll be joined by others when we come back. Stay with us.